Alabama baseball has found itself in some major hot water. They are in the midst of a massive betting scandal, and as a result, head coach Brad Bohannon has quickly been fired due to his alleged involvement in the situation. The suspicious activity occurred on April 28th prior to the Friday night game between Alabama and LSU, where pitching matchup was supposed to be between Luke Holman and Paul Skeens, but just before the start of the game, Holman was scratched due to a supposed injury. Prior to this injury information being public, two large large bets were placed for LSU to win this game at a sportsbook located in the Cincinnati Reds stadium, leading to suspicion that nefarious activities were taking place. For this to be a cause for concern, the bets were most likely at least five to six figures. This combined with the fact that college baseball does not receive large bets until the postseason, and in this instance, many sportsbooks confirmed that barely any money was wagered on the Alabama LSU game, with FanDuel stating that they did not take a single bet. This was flagged by betting integrity company U.S. Integrity, and Ohio sportsbooks quickly took off the option to bet on any Alabama baseball game. Indiana, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania quickly followed suit. The investigation was announced on Monday, May 1st, and there was speculation that someone associated with Alabama baseball was involved. There was no official progress announcement about the investigation for a few days, but there were theories that someone leaked the information to an outside source that Alabama starting pitcher Luke Holman was not playing before that news was released to the public. And there therefore instigated someone to make large bets for LSU to win. But the truth could be even worse. On the morning of Thursday, May 4th, head coach Brad Bohannon was fired from his position. While this was the announcement from the university, it seems like the firing was primarily due to the betting scandal. After this, the whole day was full of information being released regarding the investigation. Most importantly, sportsbook surveillance video shows that the person who placed the bets was communicating directly with Bohannon, and this was later confirmed when Bohannon's phone records were searched. This was the catalyst for his instant firing because there was a direct connection to the bets. At this time, it is unclear if Bohannon was receiving a stake in the bet or if he was unaware that the person he was communicating with was betting on the game. However, the information currently available leans towards Bohannon having some sort of knowledge of what was happening, especially because sources are saying that this was not an isolated incident. There were also suspicious bets made on the game in the state of Indiana. While the investigation is still ongoing, it is likely that similar bets could be uncovered now with more eyes on the situation, and this could put Bohannon in a very bad position, as it is no longer just an NCAA problem, but he could also be facing legal punishment if if true. The NCAA policy prohibits any coaches, athletes, or anyone associated with the program from betting on sports. And if Bohannon fed information to someone, then this can be seen as tipping, which gets eerily close to the realm of insider trading. While at this time there is no evidence that the game was manipulated and that any players were involved, the situation has similarities to the scandal surrounding Pete Rose, where he was accused of betting on Reds games while he was the manager of the team. And now with sports betting becoming legalized in many states, there is more opportunity for situations like this to arise. However, people supporting the legalization of sports betting will say that there are more eyes than ever on the regulation of the industry, so something like this may have not gotten caught without the investment in sports betting we have seen recently. All of this has put a lot of attention on the Alabama baseball program during a time in the year where the postseason is still up in the air. So with interim head coach Jason Jackson leading the way, it will be interesting to see how the team responds and if they will be punished in any way for the unsavory actions of their former head coach. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe, and to learn about another scandal in college baseball, watch the video here.